So this is the pre pre video, I guess, <laughs> for this next um, video. It was a few days before my birthday in May. Um, it was May twentieth, I think. This took place. I had, you guys know that I had a motorhome. Well, when I went to go check it, I, I had, just a little backstory. I had, um, this, this guy was looking for a place to live, at a motorhome. Uh, so where I had my motorhome stored, they contacted me and said this guy needs needs um, the, mo the motorhome or a motorhome um, so I went up and ta talked to him and stuff and um, because I was treated so awesome by people when I first moved here um, I wanted to pay that forward so I did and I allowed him to make payments sporadic payments well, the last little bit, he didn't contact me. Little, I think it was about a month. He didn't contact me or send me money. So I drove, or no, how did that go? Oh, he sent me a message saying that his sister needed his help in Edmonton again, that she was sick. I find out later that that is a lie. He didn't even, yeah. Just a whole big story. Just a... Oh my God. It was so stressful. So I decided to go to the place where the RV was. And outside of the RV looked... It looked horrible. He had put dents in the side of the, the body. Like the living quarter part on the outside. Um, he had done a whole bunch of shit... There was how many jacks underneath? Uh, five jacks underneath to make it level, I guess. He left that there. He had taken the um, power steering belt off. Um, then I opened the door to the inside. And it was trashed. My heart broke. My heart literally broke the lady next door to where my motorhome was parked filled me in on a whole bunch of shit I'm not going to mention it here but it was a whole but it was a shit show holy crap she helped me clean it up um, and she knew somebody that um, may want to buy it I was just going to flog it for a thousand bucks. And the guy finally came. He came from um, Kelowna, I think. It's Kelowna? I think it was Kelowna. Or in that area, the Okanagan somewhere. And he decided he didn't want it. And the motorhome, all the motorhomes had to be out the next day. Oh, no. In two days. So I was scrambling. Like, what the hell am I going to do? What the hell am I going to do? So, in the end, I got nothing for it. I just wanted out of it. I went and I got um, transfer papers for it. And um, signed it over to the owner. And then whatever he did with it, I don't know. I don't care. I wanted out of the stress. It was heartbreaking. I'm over it now. Um, so yeah. That's how that went. But I have a little bit of um, uh, video to attach to this from back in May. Back in May. Oh my God. It's almost the end of June now. So yeah, back in May. May 20th. So enjoy. So, 
oh, I got here and then I realized that I may need an appointment to get in to mess with my insurance or get new insurance. It's running out soon. So Tilly and I are sitting in here and we've got the windows open. I had the um, AC blasting so it's colder in here and I'm parked in the shade and I've got one of these sun reflectors on the front windshield so we're not getting blasted with this hot sun it's reflecting and we're quite comfortable in here so we're just gonna wait aren't we Tilly so we're just waiting and she gets to lay down in the back I think that's better for her than sitting in the seat all the time so if we're traveling somewhere, she'll front, sit in the front seat and I'll put all the stuff in the back. The joys of living in a car, in a Subaru. But that's okay. It's the first step to living in a cargo van. I may have one more step to go, I may have two more steps to go. But that's okay. This is all part of it. And um, I knew there... I knew there was going to be some bumps in the road and stuff like that, which is normal. You get bumps in the road even if you're in a sticks and bricks house. So these are just different bumps. And there are bumps. I can deal with them. Um, the main thing about this whole lifestyle that I'm drawn to is the ability to move around and still have your home. I may be houseless, but I am not homeless. And you'll you'll find a lot of um, van lifers and car lifers and nomadic people. They'll say that they're not homeless. They're houseless. Everybody has a different idea of a house. You just don't judge. Just don't judge. Um, oh, dang it! Sorry, I just dropped y'all on your head. <laughs> that was funny. Well, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Now I lost you. <laughs> what? Oh, dang. Now I gotta get out of my car and fish for you. <laughs> leave that in. That's just too funny. Tilly's going, what's going on, Mom? Oh, dang it. Hold your hold your horses here. I'm losing my stuff. It's falling over. There. Hopefully. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now I gotta find the sweet spot again. And hopefully I won't dump y'all dump y'all on your heads again. Holy Hannah Montana. <laughs> Mother trucker. There. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Oh. I need to get a, a cell phone. Oh, dang. Dang. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's fine. So, so yeah. I'm not homeless. People think, oh, She's living in her car, or th those, that couple's living in their vehicle. Does not necessarily mean homeless. This is on purpose. And I've done my research, and I n wasn't going into this mm -hmm. blindly. And with a dog, and I've watched many videos of people living in a smaller vehicle in a Prius with a dog. Prius. I I thought, what? And then I saw the videos and I'm going, oh, that's kind of cool. And that's how they want to live. So that's totally fine. This is how I want to live. I'm going to be 56 in, I don't know what day it is today, five days, I think. I think that's May 20th today. Yes, it's 
May 20th today. So in five days, I'm going to be 56. Um, I want to live the rest of my life in an open box. I've always been pushed down in a box. Be, be like everybody else. Get a home, have a family, get married, blah, blah, blah. I did all of that. I, that's not me. That's not me. I'm... I'm meant to be free and think outside the box and help people. That's what I'm meant to be. Um, I'm meant to have a different type of relation, like romantic relationship. If somebody has a problem with the way I'm living, they're not my people. I'm not looking for a relationship. Um, it's not in the cards. It's not in the cards. Because most, for me, um, the person has to be, the man has to be so secure with himself, with having a girlfriend, significant other, partner, whatever you want to call it, living this nomadic lifestyle. It's awesome if they want to do it as well. They're not doing it with me. They can have their own van or their own sticks and bricks. I don't care. But I'm not looking. <clears throat> if it falls in my lap, it falls in my lap. Um, yeah, they have to be very secure, very secure with themselves to be able to, I don't like to want to use, I don't want to use the word handle to be able to, not to have a problem with the way I'm living my life. I want to be free and breezy. I'm not here to collect a trap line. If y'all understand what I'm saying, I did that when I was younger. I don't want that shit. Even though sometimes it might be fun, but I'm too old for that shit. There's just too much drama. Too much drama coming from that. So, yeah, I am rambling on because I'm waiting for a phone call, but that's okay. Tilly and I can sit here. It's nice and breezy. We can move if we want to another shady spot. So I'm rambling. Tilly's sleeping. She's having a nap. Oh, she heard something. And this is good for her too, to see the hubbub around what's going on and people going by and um, she's still a little bit reactive when people go by. I'm working on that. <clears throat> oh, that was horrible. She had to carry her 500 pound head. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm working on it. And she's so smart. And when she gets to... <laughs> when she gets to play, she's... She still plays like a puppy, and I love that. I love, I love that. And that's uh, something about Roddy's. Roddy's and Labs are like that. So I got the insurance papers that I needed, transfer papers that I needed. I got my insurance all done for another year. Um, and I'm back at the place at the RV place where Tilly, get out of that dirt! <laughs> I'm back at the RV place um, where my RV is and the neighbor lady to my RV, she started cleaning the outside of where my motorhome is. Tilly! Oh my god, she's like <laughs> nailing cello to a tree, oh my god! Quit chewing on stuff, dude. Uh, yeah, anyways, the lady um, started cleaning up outside. So tomorrow I'm going to head to Rona to get those great big heavy duty gar black garbage bags. We call them body bags because you can use them for like raincoats and stuff like that. So we're going to get those. We're going to clean up some. I may have a buyer for it. So that's pretty good. Get that out of my hair, then go to my the other place where I had to move out of, 
get my stuff and go put it in. I have another friend in the area. Tilly, here. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Sit. Lots. <laughs> good girl. It's the only way I can kind of have her here instead of chewing on all the <laughs> all the plants. So yeah, then I have to take all my stuff out of the garage where I was at and put it in another friend's place until I can find suitable storage. I don't need a big spot. But um, then after that, I'm headed to the frickin' bush. Tilly and I are going to rest, relax, play. We're gonna swim, roast lips and assholes. I might even have one drink. I have some really good rum that I bought New Year's that I had one drink out of. So I might have one more drink out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's my plan. So right now I'm just in the back of this. I'm just gonna show, I'm gonna see if this, oh yeah, it does. Okay, so this is the back. <laughs> so this is the patio of the place that is for sale. Um, I consider these people that own the place my family. This is the place I was talking about. This patio is so amazing. I come out here just to sit. Yeah, you can hear the traffic, but whatever. Doesn't bother me a whole lot. But this place is absolutely stunning. Even a date tree. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah, so Tilly and I are going to relax. She's been out and about in the back here. So we're just going to find a spot. We know where there's a really nice spot where we can get internet. And I have a really cool book that I want to start. It's Dark Smut. That's funny that makes me laugh so so yeah so you guys all have an amazing day and tomorrow is a new day I feel a little bit better today than I did yesterday yesterday I yesterday wasn't a good day it wasn't a good day so but today it was a better day I got some stuff done I have my dog with me that's all that I give a shit about and Tomorrow is going to be an even better day. Once I get all the shit taken care of, I'm going to start my RV and let it run for a little bit. Um, it might need some fuel, so I might do that too. Oh, nice little car. My son would love that car. It's a little, it's a lowered Volks, black Volkswagen. I think it's a rabbit or it could be a golf too. My son would go crazy over that kind of shit. But yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I get the bulk of it done, get the thing, get the beast started. Um, it needs a power steering belt, so, and that thing, it's a one ton, so there's no way I'm Armstrong steering that puppy without a steer, uh, power steering belt, so. So yeah, you guys have an amazing evening, and we'll chat soon.